<laughs> oh boy. Yes. This one. Oh. Hi there. Hi. Trust me, I'm sorry. I, I was just caught up in this infectious page turner. Welcome to another edition of the Arts Page. Today we showcase two of the GIS's contribution to the literary arts scene. I'm gonna go and read here. Fuku. Let's look at the first book. The second edition of Jamaican Folk Customs and Beliefs is packed with all the old wives' tales, superstitions, and the general thoughts Jamaicans hold to be true. We have a rich cultural history, and the book speaks to the root of what we as a people believe, passed down from generation to generation. You remember what your granny used to say? Pickney, no open the umbrella in the house. You know I get married. Well, all that's in the book too. <laughs> How about if your right hand scratches, you'll receive money? Or if your right ear rings, you'll hear good news? What about your right elbow and receiving a handshake? Well, those are just some of the many different ideas the book deals with. From love and courtship to pregnancy and the days of the week, this book has all you'll need to know about the ideas we still hold dear. And since we're on the topic of books, here's another one that is sure to elicit fond memories and national pride. This book that I have in my hand is very relevant to the history of Jamaica and to show us where we have come today as a nation. Because nothing tells a story better than photographs. Nothing at all. That's so true. Chronicling 50 years of nationhood or golden jubilee snapshots of post-independent Jamaica 1962 to 2012 offers up crisp photographs of Jamaica's beauty from its people to the mountains and the valleys. But most of all, it also brings to the fore the development and progress that has been made since 1962. Scenes from the book are laid out in beautiful black and white and colored photography, recording and recreating some moments of the nation's past. I would tell um, people to give this book as a gift to children, that they might not find the value of it now, but later they can. It also would make an interesting independence gift to older people whose memories are now fading but can look at this immediately. The return of the body of Garvey is a seminal moment in Jamaican history and it's captured there. If you look at the picture of the coffin, it's far more ornate and covered with things than now. Martin Luther King's visit, uh, Buster Manti leading people down Duke Street. All of that, um, um, Michael Manley at his father's grave and that the mantle was handed from father to son later. It's, it's small but important. And not only that, this um, collector's item will go down as one of the best pieces of collection in a book that we can ever get. So, if you're interested in copying these collector's items, be sure to contact the JIS's Research and Publications Department at 926-359024 or email them at research at jis.gov.jm. This has been The Arts Page.